I want to say this respectfully to every politician and everyone that is holding a political position. We honor our leaders, we pray for them. I'm not in the party of those who criticize leaders. It's okay to talk about what's happening, but with the mindset of bringing a solution. But watch the news, you will hear very soon that a particular presidential aspirant withdrew and that will begin a series of a lot of things and as president muhammad buhari beats farewell to outgoing cabinet members at the presidential villa the minister of labor and employment chris ingige has announced his withdrawal from the 2023 presidential race the minister said he took the momentous decision in the interest of the nation and to enable him to concentrate on his job he was one of the cabinet members present at the valedictory session earlier today Announcing his resignation in a statement, he personally signed. The minister cited family reasons as part of the motivation to no longer pursue his ambition, adding that he has communicated his decision to the president and boss Mustafa, the secretary to the government of the federation. The former governor of Anambra State said, although he has received the expression of interest and nomination forms from his supporters, they are yet to be filled and submitted. The Labour and Employment Minister was one of the presidential hopefuls of the ruling All Progressives Congress. Some will begin to withdraw, some will be attacked, all kinds of things will happen. But in the midst of that shaking, the leader for Nigeria's next democratic face will emerge. And God alone will be glorified in Jesus' name. And I want to say this to anyone as a blogger who will lay hands on this, listen very well and don't misrepresent what we have said. Is that okay? And God will help us. I'm going to begin a video series very soon, 12 signs that God showed me for us to identify Nigeria's next president. I can't give you the person's name and picture because that's not allowed in prophecy. There are certain things that are only relegated to the hand and the will of God. There are areas, boundaries that you must set for yourself as a man of God that works in the prophetic, not to predict. For instance, you don't predict somebody's spouse, but we can give signs because God speaks through the prophetic in signs and symbols. In similitudes, like he said in Isaiah chapter 10, verse 12. So I'm going to do a video series very soon. 12 signs. If you know these 12 signs, you can be wise enough to detect. I pray that this will help our political franchise. I was not paid to do this. I'm not supporting any party or any individual. I am only speaking as a voice sent by God to his people. God will help us in Jesus' name.